Welcome to the 2021 Ford Mustang EcoBoost Convertible, a modern iteration of one of the most widely known sports cars in the world. In its body lines, you can see the history and heritage that has led it to this point. But does this version do justice to the legacy of this groundbreaking vehicle? So after about a week of living with this vehicle, I have decided that I really do like this thing. It's got a smooth, comfortable ride. It has a pretty good sound system, and it even gives you fun customization options in the menu to change the color of interior accent lighting and the color of the digital dashboard elements. The heated and cooled leather seats are a nice addition too, but this is still only a four-cylinder in the body of a historically much more powerful car. So does that really work? Does it have enough Mustang DNA to really be called a Mustang? Now, even though this thing is only a turbocharged four-cylinder, it still has plenty of get up and go. <laughs> Ooh, boy. In fact, it sounds pretty good for being a four-cylinder, but you can actually get a little better sound out of it if you switch it to track mode. All right, so now we're going to switch to track mode and go into manual mode and make sure nobody's around us to be in their way. And here we go. That wasn't quite enough fun. This thing will really stick to the road, even without the traction control on, because in track mode, <laughs> that's one of the fun things, that it turns off. And I say fun things as then it's more fun with it off, honestly. Now, I will say that little is a very accurate way to describe this vehicle. Technically, this car is considered a subcompact class. Now, it does have two back seats, but they're largely useless. Honestly, unless you are a child, you're not going to be able to fit in the back seat without the front seats being scooted so far forwards that you almost can't even have someone in the front seat. So that's why I have to say that as far as it being a family car, nah. Now for the real fun, we're going to twist this and then hold down the fun button. <laughs> and now that we've got the top down, now we can really enjoy the sounds this car makes. Here we go. Now we're gonna do that little circuit again. And I will say that with the top down on this vehicle, this is the first convertible that I've had the chance to really get to spend some time with. And it's really livable with the top down. It's not a lot of air buffeting, even with all the windows as well. <laughs> a little understeer. <laughs> Tried to get it to kick the tail out a little bit. It didn't cooperate that time. I'll try again in a second. Hold on, here we go.
understeer again. <laughs> oh, that's fun. And there's another Mustang back there too. I love it. So this thing is quite a lot of fun out here in the middle of nowhere. The only thing is, with it being just a four-cylinder, the front end is not very heavy. So that's the reason that in some of these instances, when I'm really pushing it around the corner, when I'm trying to get the back end to kick out, I'm getting understeer instead of oversteer. So that's something that you have to think about with this vehicle being as light and small as it is. It is fun, but if you're pushing it too hard, you can get yourself in a little bit of trouble. I know that on bigger engine vehicles that are in smaller cars just like this, you can get yourself in trouble from having too much power. In this case, you can get yourself in trouble from having too little weight. So that's something that you have to just watch out for. So, I gotta say, I really like this little car. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about a turbocharged four-cylinder in what's supposed to be one of the greatest sports cars of all time. But I love it. From the styling to the speed, the handling, the comfort, this is a fun little car. Starting around $34,000, this car is not exactly cheap. But despite a few quirks, I think that it earns the name of Mustang. It's a fun car to drive and it evokes an emotion of adventure and freedom, especially with the top down. It's certainly got the looks of the Mustang. With the stunning lines and aggressive angles, the styling of this car doesn't leave much to be desired. It's got a nice interior with many features one would expect in any modern vehicle. And while it may not have enough room to be a family hauler or have the power to dominate the racetrack, it does one thing really well. It brings a smile to the face of anyone in the driver's seat. Normally four cylinders are looked at as not very fun. This one though, this one kind of is. Now, if you excuse me, I got some more fun to have. <laughs> Until next time, thank you for watching.